Here we go then. So this is video 1001, which is chapter one, quick start, recorded 5th of February 2019. Learn Google Earth Studio with me, Mike Downs. Now, what we're going to do here is a quick start video animation, assuming you've got no prior knowledge of Google Earth Studio at all. And this is the sort of thing we're looking at. And so what you'll do is you'll go to the Google Earth uh, URL and look at these lovely things. And on the top right, there'll be a blue button which says Try Earth Studio. You will click that, add in through your Google account uh, your name and why you want to use it, and then you'll get a welcome. So let's go straight to um, the part where you are logged into Google Earth Studio for the very first time. And what you probably want to do is just get cracking and make something happen. And that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to just do it step by step um, to follow. So blank project, down arrow, quick start. And then you see these uh, quick start things. All I'm going to do is just get on with it. The reasons of why and how and everything, of course, are to do with this series. So I'm going to choose something and there's five different ones to choose from. Um, fly to orbit, orbit, spiral and the first one, which was the zoom to and the point to point. I'm going to choose a spiral because it looks very nice. It's even better if I can actually say the word spiral. Um, without tripping over my tongue. So following in, you get a point of interest. And for ease, I'm going to do something which is Buckingham. How do you spell Buckingham Palace in London? Let's say that you were um, really fortunate, if you choose to be, and you were invited to tea by the Queen of England and you needed to find where she lives, which is Buckingham Palace amongst other places. So we've located it and you see that there are some crosshairs on Westminster or the area of London where Buckingham Palace is. Next green arrow would go over to the radius angle and altitude and I'm not going to touch anything and what it immediately does is it starts to show you the spiral as it is working and you can see on the left hand side there is a map and even a satellite which will go over and on the right is your finished article. I'm just going to stop it there and say at the moment I'm not going to drag any of these things up and down because I just want to get along as fast as we can to feel a an achievement, a win, if you like, that we're actually making something really, really lovely happen. And so at that point, I can look at this and notice the default is 25 seconds. You can actually go in there and you can type in a number and I'm going to say 10 and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. And you can see it goes a little bit quicker. Of course, the animation is moving a lot, lot faster. If you are happy with all of that, click the up arrow and I hope that our video is still uh, coming in because I'm recording at eight frames a second and I think this will be good. So what happens is the good on this screen recording, by the way. So I can drag the playhead along here and look at all these dots and things and say at this stage, all I want to do is achieve something. And then I'm going to hit render. In future chapters and lessons in this series, you'll get to know all about those buttons, all about the settings. So at this precise moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit render and then it will come up to be 300 frames at 1920 by 1080. And I could just hit this very easily and hit start. So when I hit start like this, then what will happen is you've got to look at the very bottom where it says rendering untitled and you're looking where my mouse is at the bottom center for something to turn up here, which is about counting the 100 nodes. So at this precise moment, I'm not going to waste time because I'm screen recording as well. I'm just going to hit uh, pause there and go back over to the slideshow, which I was showing you. So what we've actually done is we've come in and we've said, OK, I've signed up for Google Earth and Earth Studio. I've started to render and you'll get a screen like this. And so I'm just making this video go a lot, lot quicker so we can learn something. It says rendering Buckingham Palace spiral because I did one a little bit earlier and it will say um, it will count up the number of 100 nodes. Then it will start and it says render 21 of 301 and then it gives you an idea and it says four minutes 55 remaining. And then after you wait a couple of minutes or two, it will say it will count down. It says, no, look, it's now done 100. 
you've got about five minutes or so to wait and then you've got um, two minutes to wait and then when it finishes up bottom of screen it will literally zip down the files to your hard drive and it says Buckingham Palace zip after that and this is my Windows 10 machine. You've got Buckingham Palace Spiral. Um, extract all of those frames and they render out as still images. In my example, moving along quite quickly as I can, then I've got my 300 images, which I can now use in my example, Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum. Here are my files. I'm opening a sequence of images. I've checked the box. 300 images and then there they are on my timeline remember google earth studio renders still images that you will need some kind of video editor all of that information coming later in this series if not look at the official help or just get on with it yourself um there it is and then after that i make the little movie here which is 10 seconds long and there it is and then after that i can play the file or i can upload it straight to youtube and that is an example I've done earlier. Forgive the, the blurriness of it. This is just a screen grab. And then we can come along and say that is the end of this video, which is quick start in a very, very quick, concise few minutes. And I know I've been here six minutes. But again, this is Learn Google Earth Studio with me, Mike Downs. And see you in the next one.